So that's a really cool effect, but from the beginning, I can tell there are two issues. The flashlight is enormous, and she was moving the flashlight around and around. It seems like there's some sort of heat problem. Maybe it will overheat after a period of time. I'm not sure. But what I've got here is a head mounting line. Uh, and it comes with the strap, so it will be a very easy build. Now what I want to see is how bright it can get and how hot it will get. If it's too hot, um, I don't think I'll use it, but let's try. Now let me turn off the light. Okay. Let me set it to the brightest. I think now it's the brightest. And let me tuck it in my... Well, sorry. Can you see? Now I tuck it in. You can see it's shining through my skin. It's pretty cool. But it gets a little warmer. Uh, let me take it out for... Uh, it is bright enough. But uh, it's going to burn me over time, so uh, I have to think of something else. So what I got here is um, a light meter. Uh, it is about $20. Uh, I know that this headlight has the right brightness. I just don't know how bright it is. So I'm going to use the light meter to detect it. Right now it is set to 100 and the room light is around 9 a or to 10 lux and let's turn this on uh, it's around uh, 1500 to 2000 okay so now I know how bright light I need but I need to find a way to keep it cool I got this uh, fiber optic cable on light uh, I think people use it for indoor lighting for boat and house, not quite sure. But I figure I can use, uh, I can mount this to uh, the headlight. I can connect them together and then it shines down to the other end and put it behind my back. You can kind of see, sorry, you can kind of see it here and let's use the light meter again to see how bright it gets. Only around 50 to 60 and what we need is a 50 hundred, nowhere near that. <sighs> now I gotta try something else. Okay, I think if you need more lights, then you need a bigger pipe. Press it down. It, this one goes up almost 900. So uh, I think we're halfway there, but this light is not bright enough. I think I need to change it to something else. I need a bigger light. So I will go find something. I got this fancy flashlight. It is super bright. But I think in this case, um, more light is better. Let's see. Wow, it's, it's hot. I don't want to press my finger. <laughs> it's really hot. I just like maybe do this. Whoa, it goes up almost 200 and then, yeah, oh, it's pretty hot. No. 
Now, I think it's time for some 3D uh, tinkering and 3D printing. I need to figure out maybe a connector between the flashlight and the fiber optics to connect them together. Yeah, let's do that. This video is sponsored by Creality 3D, makers of the Ender Free 3D printer. Check the description box for more info. Okay, I got this metal clamp in the hardware store. Usually when I got stuck, I just wandering in the hardware market and explain to people what I need. Eventually, I found this part and they sold me for about a uh, dollar. It's, uh, it's a good deal. Now, let's put the pipe in and see if it fits. It's a little bit tight. Okay, and then and put this 3D printing part on top of the light, fresh light. Now let's turn it on. See, aha, uh -huh. I think this would work. It's, it's pretty bright and, uh, hmm. But this part, the 3D printing part, if I carry this pipe for about half an hour, this one definitely will melt because the fresh light gets really hot after a period. So I found a CNC uh, machine store online. I've never done this before. I've never sent out anything for um, custom made for metals. Um, let's see how it turns out. This is a silicon group. I'm going to put some into the uh, the gap into the pipe so that the light only comes out from the pipe. So the parts got in, um, I got these two parts from uh, two different stores because I want to know which CNC place do a better job. But it seems like both they look really nice. Let me give you a closer look. So this one is $20. I don't know if you can see it inside. Um, looks a little bit rough in spot. But for make a maker project, this one is perfect. It's cheap, and uh, if I want to, I think I would use this more often in the future for maker projects. And the other one here, this one is anodized, it's black, and looks 
almost perfect and it feels very smooth but it's fifty dollars so um, I think I'm I will only use it under the circumstance if I'm going to make a prototype of a project or something else but since I already have it I'm going to use this one for my project I'm going to uh, put this one in to the metal clamps but first I have to put this uh, little set screws in Now I just need to figure out a way to mount it on my back. I've got this, I guess it's a camera host, holster. Mm, there is a screw on the top. And I think I could use the screw, I could put the screw at the end of the flashlight. And then I am going to put the holster maybe something maybe like this that should work and then I just uh, put it on my back 